Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to put together a 6x8 uh, layout using the Roll With It collection from Rosie Studios. Now when I went through the collection with you earlier in the week, um, this paper like really drew my eye and as soon as I saw it I kind of knew the photos that I wanted to use with it. Uh, a very heavily purple and green photo which otherwise apart from having this collection might have been difficult for me to document. I don't have a lot of collections with those kind of colors so this was perfect. Um, I'm gonna use really just only this paper and a whole bunch of embellishments. I have trimmed out some white cardstock so I'm going to go a kind of, it's like, it's not quite a two page spread. It's like a one and a half page spread. So I'm going to do one full six by eight page. Um, but because I don't put that in a pocket, I've trimmed the cardstock down to seven by eight and a half. And then my little half page on the other side is obviously eight and a half inches tall, but it is three and a half inches wide. And basically that's going to allow me to have like a full page layout on one side and then a space for my journaling on the other. So I've trimmed down about three and a half inch strip of this um, tartan looking paper and about a, a half an inch strip, oh, it's a bit, bit less than half an inch at the top. Um, just to kind of frame the page. So I'm going to put most of my um, photo and embellishment down the bottom here and rather than having the page kind of floating off at the top, I'm just kind of capping it off with a little bit of the same paper. Now I was careful to try to keep the patterns matching. I don't even think that would have been necessary to be honest. It did um, confuse my brain a little bit trying to trim out those strips so that the pattern continued up the page but it actually makes very little difference. Now I've already hole punched my cardstock just so that I know where those rings are gonna go. Uh, I will punch them later on, but for now I'm not that worried about it. I'm just gonna cover, cover them up and I'll do that at the end. What I am gonna do though is just add the littlest bit of texture with my sewing machine, just stitching the strip at the top and the top of the bottom strip, just a little bit. I mean, it's a barely, fairly negligible uh, little detail but I kind of like it. It also means that those bits are like permanently adhered and when I'm putting together layouts for a 6x8 album like this I am a little bit more aware of the fact that none of this is going in a pocket. I want it to be all really well adhered so you will see me using a lot of liquid adhesive uh, and I do use um, a few kind of puffy stickers and alphas and enamel dots in this layout and I don't show it on camera because it is a tedious process but I do go back through and adhere all of those down with liquid adhesive as well just to make sure that they stay stuck. So I've got my base page done, I've got my photos and I'm going to find a few little layering pieces out of this die cut pack. Again, when I was going through the collection with you, these are kind of more like titles or sentiments, like kind of tag pieces. I think they're called, yeah, they're just called sentiments, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And I figured that they would make perfect kind of layering pieces. I'm going through the pack, predominantly looking for kind of um, lavender-y, <laughs> lavender kind of colors. There's a lot of colors in this paper. I could have pulled out anything, but what I'm trying to kind of attempt to do is um, really play up the colors that are in those photos, which is green, which I'm not focusing so heavily on, but the lavender. Uh, I'm gonna kind of cover up a lot of the sentiment type things in there. So really I was looking for bits that had like a straight edge or a border that I could tuck out underneath my photos and just kind of make those layers stand out from the background a bit more. It, originally I had kind of planned that this little sticker you're an original was going to be my title for the page. I love these kind of word bubble stickers and I just didn't realize that not that many of them have the kind of speech bubble bit at the bottom which is kind of where it needed to be uh, for my title. So in the end I went back into the kind of puffy sticker titles and found the perfect one. Uh, it says just be you. It's the perfect shade of lavender and it's going to sit really nicely with that speech bubble as well. 
So now it just becomes a case of layering these little bits and pieces in here. You can see the kind of the vague shape that I'm going for with this layout. And this process is kind of just trial and error, but you know me, you'll know that I'm not kind of, I'm not big on planning stuff and actually doing these kind of uh, layering steps it sort of annoys me because things are forever moving and I can never get anything to stay in the same place that I put it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start sticking stuff down. To be honest, I, I started playing around and I figured I'll just stick it as I go. And if anything becomes an issue, I'll work out what I'm going to do then. I have to say I had huge issues <laughs> with my liquid glue. It was going all over the show. Uh, so quite a few times I'm having to clean that up. But I've got a whole bunch of texture in here and um, I'm just going to go and adhere it down. It will end up being uh, quite flat. Like it's not particularly dimensional. Uh, I will add a little bit of foam under my photo. But everything else I'm really kind of just sticking straight down onto the page. Now when I'm using foam, I don't honestly know if it makes a huge difference, but I've got this foam glue and I feel like, personally, I feel like it is different to regular craft glue. It does hold the foam and it adheres much quicker than kind of regular adhesive on foam. I don't know if that's a placebo effect or not, but I feel like it works, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now, although I said I was going to focus on those kind of more lavender uh, layering pieces, I am aware that there's a lot of color in this pattern paper, and I don't want uh, I don't want everything to become too monochromatic around the photo. So I am kind of adding in a few extra little bits and pieces, like this one here. I swap out. I've got that lavender. I'm swapping it for more of that pinky tone. I've added in an orange ticket there. Just a few extra little bits and pieces to stop it becoming too monotonous with all of that purple in there. Uh, and trying to highlight a few of the extra colors that are in that tartan pattern. Um, one of them being this kind of, it's more of a kind of pe a pinky color lavender like it's it's definitely a cool toned pink it's not quite the actual lavender color there's a cool toned pink in there so I'm adding some of those bits in as well and I'm going to do the same thing at the top so obviously my puffy sticker is kind of peachy colored which is like a predominant color in the tartan as well so I'm going to try and highlight and bring out some of those colors too as I'm placing my little elements so like I said, I'm not going to add too much dimension. The second photo is just a little one. I think it's about a two inch square. My other photo is three by three and a half inches. And that's the only thing that's going up on foam. Everything else is kind of stuck down onto the cardstock. So again, a, a reasonably flat page, but I do, I do love the kind of texture I get in the end. And you'll see how I managed to achieve that. So I didn't want to add too much in the way of words down here, but I couldn't help it. There was a little banner that says love you. I had to kind of pop that on there. And now I'm going to start working on the embellishment at the top of the page. First up, I'm just going to place my puffy sticker. And again, I'm going to adhere that down with what I wanted, a little bit of glue. But the glue exploded and I had to clean that up. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to quit gluing things down for now. I'm going to put everything down and I glue all of these little bits and pieces down off camera. So I'm going to stack up my title here and I'm going to shift the letters a little bit closer together than what they are on the sheet. So I'm not going to use that as a template and I really am just eyeing, eyeballing the straightness of it. It's not going to matter once I put all the rest of the embellishments up here, but I just wanted to like kind of cluster this to uh, title a little bit smaller, a little bit closer together, make it more of kind of one shape in here. So I'm squeezing everything in and it kind of gives me this like pyramid triangular shape with my title. Um, I've got the, the speech bubble on the right hand side. And so the text jutting out on the left kind of just helps to balance all of that out. Now I'm going to go through a bunch of puffy stickers. I didn't, I, I chose not to go with hearts. I'm going to use some of the little star puffies and they're kind of sprinkled all over here. So there were some on the titles. There were some on the uh, little speech bubble puffies. I'm just going to play around with them and kind of create 
a line of sight, I guess. So I usually end up with kind of a visual triangle. I'm not going to have so much of that this time. I am adding a couple of little puffy stickers down the bottom here, just so that they're not all at the top, so that there is some reference to them elsewhere. But apart from that, I'm going to create this kind of line of puffy stickers and enamel dots uh, from the it's not the bottom left, but from the left hand side to the right hand side on a little bit of a diagonal slope. So I'm going to end up, I missed a bit, a little bit of footage in here because it did take me quite some time to place all of these tiny little enamel dots uh, and my battery ran out, but you'll see the end result here. I kind of, when I do things like this with the enamel dots, I think the rule of thumb is you either be sparse or you go big. So go big or go home was the theory I went with today. I added a whole bunch in there. You can see it. I love it. Kind of works with the stars. It's like stardust kind of going across there. Uh, and now all I've got to do is work on this little page, which is going to be a very, very simple. I'm adding one sticker from that sticker book. It was the perfect color. The sticker was already layered, so I didn't have to do anything else except take it over to my typewriter. I wish I had done that before I stuck everything down because my typewriter really did not enjoy having all of that stitched paper stuck through it. But I got there in the end. All I'm going to do is add a couple more puffy stickers and an enamel dot over on the side to tie it all together. And that's the layout all done. So it did not take me very long. I love the colors in this. And like I said, I'm in love with this collection for these photos of Jack. I think they're going to be absolutely perfect for kid photos. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.